Hey, so I just received these back from Char and Gordon shop. You see that Char has did the rosette. This is a wooden rosette. What I'll typically do is I'll check for any uh, possible, maybe even you know, microscopic gaps or chips around the rosette and fill those as needed. This one, however, looks really good. Um, so what I'm going to do is take this over to the sander, which we used before. Uh, this is, now I'm running 220 sandpaper. Uh, and this time we're going to run it through straight. If you recall before, I ran it through in an angle. Well, now I can run it through straight, and that tells me that all those, I can see when those uh, diagonal angles are out that way. So, Gordon, if you can hit my uh, vacuum system here above your head, the on button there. Got it. So that's what I'm going to do. I run the slow, uh, very lightly. Touch this thing. What I'm looking for is the disappearance of the angles that go like this from the sandpaper. Yeah, it looks like we're getting close. Still see a little bit. Once again, I'm always rotating the wood. Almost there. And when I'm this close, I'll rotate it. That one's good. Now we're done with the front, the top. We do the same thing to the back. Another thing I do is I check for any wrinkles in this tape that we have on there, just to make sure it doesn't push up anywhere. This looks good. Well, we're done on this sander. So I'm going to take them over and use our vibrating sander. So I, I think we should say that really the objective of this step is to remove sanding scratches. Yes. Right? You're not taking it to final thickness. No. But, is, go ahead. But, but once this has been braced, it's very hard to get out scratches out of it once it's on the instrument. So that's why we take it down, we, we get rid of the overhead sanding scratches here, right. and we really get it ready at this point, when you're done with these sides, the next time it's gonna be sanded is after we've put binding on it, and uh, uh, and we start sanding that binding flat, and then that at, is, at that point, we're really prepping it yeah. for finish. There is one more, uh, actually Char does the final thicknessing before it. But she does it on the other side. She does, The non-polished. Yeah. So we call this polishing. This is polishing. We're doing the show side as we yep. did before. And after you're done with this, the show side doesn't get touched. Oh, okay. Didn't right. realize that. So yep. Yeah, I learned something too. I'm going to grab my glasses over here real quick. I need to have these. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just double check here before I start in this better light. Yeah, we're good. So I'm going to take this, and it doesn't need a whole lot.
a little touch more. You can see the very, very fine. And you're what using do, 120 grit? I'm using 120 orbital? grit here. And that takes out all the, the right angle uh, scratches. And it looks like it's been buffed, you know, by a buffer. You can't see any scratches whatsoever. Normally I'll just I'll do it this way, turn it this way, redo it, and then it's usually done. Magnifico! There you are, a nice brand new top. And I'll repeat the same process on the back. So as I was saying, the next time this uh, the show sides get touched uh, is when we start taking off the binding residue oh, and okay. we're prepping them for finish. And so really that's that's the important part of this step is we're, you know, it's almost like you're prepping them for finish at this point. Oh, okay. No one else is going to do anything harsh with them. And of course we're super careful. Yeah, like we might you're... add at this point, we are real careful with these because any anything, you know, even a grit of sand can really yeah. mess it up. So we're real careful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I'll just go ahead and finish this one up while we're here. It won't take but a couple minutes. Maybe Gordon will do a fade out on this, huh? <laughs> Looks good. That is All the right. polishing process. Thanks, Carrie. Thank you.